Hello and welcome to Off Track. My name is Jonathan Abbott and today I'm talking to Brisker Form 1 superstar Frankie Baby Jr. Frankie, thank you very much for doing this today. Um, 2019, was that an okay kind of season or wanted a little bit more from it? Uh, yeah, I wanted a lot more for it to be honest. Had the pace, both cars, just, you know, not the results we wanted, but, you know, we're there, the second in the, the British, second, the third in the shootout, but, you know, we had a few engine problems this year which cost me a lot and, yeah. you know, we just uh, struggled a bit really. Okay, 2020 is, is the aim to kind of try and do it all again, or is the rumour true that you yeah. uh, I need to get rid of 2019 first. Yeah. You know, I've got, got a lot of stuff to sort yeah. in 2019 first, and then decide what I'm doing next year if I can. I can't say any more than that. Yeah, you know, I've got, like, you get two years out of here. Yeah, no, I get that. I get that. Um, so, thinking about that, um, you've been racing for a long time. Uh, best stock car that you've built or raced? Um, Choice of two really, in the current show car. Yeah. Definitely for one. And obviously my little uh, little rapid orange car. Okay. All the long track in the world finally yeah. in that game. Um, Is that still about? Is that Yeah, yeah. That's, that's in one of our sheds. Okay. That's uh Grey Molds owns it now. Okay. He went to Perth Finnegan, I think. Right, okay. And then obviously Graham bought it, he raced it a few times and then I think his aim is to take it back to yeah. what it was like originally for some sort of heritage project. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's sat in our uh, one of our sheds, I see it quite regularly, so it's fun, fun, a lot of fun memories about that. Do you give like a little smile when you walk past? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, he won a lot of stuff, and you know, it was it was a really good car, same as the shell car I've got now. Yeah. You know, obviously, eating fine straight out. You know, it was the first time yeah, I've ever done that. Great. Obviously, my customer cars have done that, but yeah. I've never done it myself, so that was good. And then, you know, every time I race it, it's on pace, it's, you know, it's, it's there, there about, so... And it looks a bit different as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it's all, it, was, it, it was what I wanted to do when I built the car, the whole thing behind it was... All the cars are coming out, see, yes, they're very professional, they're, they're absolutely super, well, all the cars everybody's building, but they, are, they were all the similar shapes, it's not what they could do, and, and I just wanted to do something yeah. different, you know, I was looking back at some of the older cars, some really iconic cars, you know, back in the day. Yeah. And um, just, just, just to create a bit of that, that's yeah. all really. Okay. And you mentioned about other cars out there. Is there anyone in particular that you admire now that's currently racing? Um, just everybody who gets them done out there. You know, there's a lot of different cars out there. Dows has just fetched it out yeah. a bit different this year, some pictures of that. You know, to, just to be different and obviously the paint schemes and what they can do with them these days, it's very professional, but the actual shape of a stock car, you can't really get away yeah. from. You know, and obviously in my time I can't put a lot of body panels on that, you know, I can alter the shape of that and have it whatever shape I want. And it, it's just just to be different, that's all. Okay. Um, who's the hardest driver that you've raced against in your career? <sighs> Jesus. It's, yeah, I would say it's got to be John London, really. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I mean, there's been a few. I've, I've raced them all. So why was London the hardest? Just because... <sighs> he's never, he's never die attitude. Yeah. You know, and obviously his will to win when he was at the top with me and my will to win, yeah. you know, and it, yes, we had a lot of battles, but it was so much respect for the man, yeah. and, you know, hopefully vice versa, and, and that's how it should be, but I've raced a lot yeah. of it, a lot of the hard drivers, Elwell, Oldman Elwell, Philly, Pete Folding, you, you, the list just yeah. goes, I yeah, know, over the years. It's hard to pick one out. Yeah, definitely, but, you know, the, the battles I've had, was probably John London, Rob Speak, yeah. and Andy Smith to it, but, you know, mainly, probably John really all the time. But I think all those three that you mentioned are almost iconic moments yeah, in, the in the sport. Yeah, yeah definitely. You know, and to be honest, it, it makes me smile a bit because I'm involved with yeah, a lot of them, you know what I mean? Yeah, I put myself out there to do that and that's the only way you succeed in this yeah. job, you know what I mean? You can't just lurk in the shadows, you don't win nothing, no. so you know, you've got to get your neck stuck out there and yeah, it hurts a bit sometimes, but sometimes <laughs> in the victory, you don't, you don't win major championships by, by lurking in the no, back. So. Absolutely not. Um, Thinking of 2020, is there any driver that you would like to bring back into the sport to race against in 2020? If you could, you can um, magic wish him back. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to have a, a one-off race with Stuart Smith, or yeah. Stuart. You know, yes, he was good in his time, but the equipment he had in his time was far better than anything, anybody yeah. else had. Okay. You know, I think the racing now, what we're doing now, is a lot harder because everybody's equipment is virtually the same. Yes. And it's hard. Yeah. And you know, I think there's a lot of good drivers out yeah, there now. Yeah, you know, on the day there's 10, 12, 14, up to 20 drivers that yeah. are all on pace and could yeah. win. You know, back then, you know, Owen Stewart turned up one, and that was yes. that was it basically. There wasn't many challenged him. You know, and I think to have a challenge, you know, a race with him, 
yeah. you know, to put it to bed, yeah. <laughs> if you like. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I just, yeah, yeah. you know, I mean, yeah, it, it, it's, he's one of the, the fairest drivers in the, in the job. Okay. But, yeah. Um, so, of the tracks we currently race at, which one is your favourite now at the moment? Um, probably Kingsley. Yeah. Just for its consistency. Obviously, you know, you, you get a good track virtually every time you get there. Yeah. You know, we're struggling for tracks a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> the job's been on, down a little bit lately, but it's, it's starting to pick back up now. Um, obviously, you know, the incident at Birmingham, which is going to have a massive effect on everything. Yes. But, you know, we need to try and work with that and, and keep the job going. Yeah, and, absolutely. You know, the tracks are sort of disappearing. We think some are coming back. Yeah. We're sort of working with new tracks, you know, anything to keep keep the job going. Really. Yeah, it, 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 needs, <coughs> it needs a number of tracks, you can't just have three yeah, or four. Yeah, no, it, it wouldn't work like that. And, you know, there is positive signs, yeah. which is good. You know, we can only work with that and, and see what we can do. Brilliant. Um, do you race to win or race to, win or to entertain? <sighs> to entertain, I think, at the minute. Yeah. Um, the, the, the job that it needed a lift, which wasn't particularly somebody winning all the time or I don't know but he needed people it's hard because over the years people have always gone to see me and whoever else battling yeah yeah same as Tom and Dan this year you know what I mean and, but there's only so long I could probably keep doing that yeah um, but I think because of the variation of drivers we've got now the race in any in any race can be absolutely super. Yeah. Is it on your when you're out there on track and you're racing? Is, does that ever come across your mind that I need to entertain all these people that have paid to come and watch me? Not necessarily you, but watch stock cars. No, no, really, I, I, I just I just want to do the best yeah. I can. You know, if the car feels right and I'm I'm in for it, we're we're, we're going. Yeah. Um. That that's about it. Okay. Um. Away from the stock car track, how how do you relax? What do you do when it's nothing to do with stock cars? Don't really do a lot of anything to be honest. Obviously, if we can, if we can go out, have something to eat, yeah. you know, I'd go to the cinema a bit if we can. Yeah. Just stuff like that. But it's always fans, always Phoebe and Frankie about Carl, Chloe now. You know, we're we're a big family, very yeah. close family. Um, so yeah, we just just do stuff like that. Brilliant. Um, if you were stranded on a desert island and you had to have three four more drivers with you to be stranded with, who would you pick? Who would you choose? Um, I would said Sarge. Okay. Sarge and Paul Hines. Because. Keep everybody entertained. Yeah. They're hilarious. They're, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, would they come on like a double act, you know? They could, like, you know. I, I think they're just <laughs> hilarious. I think it just passed the time. Yeah. So how long, how long were they for? Oh, it's just time. endless, really. Oh, to be right, fair. Right. Mm, yeah, they'd be alright. <laughs> the third one, possibly Greeny. Okay. Yeah, because he could. I'm sure he could pull some strings to get food in and stuff and okay. get a bit of money in there. Yeah. Just keep us all Yeah. Out. So we've gone practicality with Nigel Green yeah. and the other two just to entertain yeah. just let him sort everything out. So you saw it? I'd like some bed chair and yeah. watch them too. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, have you ever been to John Lund's house? Yes. How far over the hill is he? Is he a long way over the hill? 20 minutes. Hill? Okay. 20 minutes. Over quite a few times. Just delivering parts, pick stuff up. Yeah, Does he make a cup of tea? If he's in, he's usually working to be yeah. honest, but you know, if he's in the garage or whatever, yeah, he always gets a cup of tea out and no, it's good enough just to see him sat there, he was down there at okay. Birmingham. Yeah. Yeah. New car or refurbished car? Ritual refurb yeah. car, yeah, I was good to see him out, she had anything to do with him. Yeah. But, yeah, no, I was uh, it's always good when John comes out, he's loved by a lot of people because yeah. he's been here a long, long time. So, yeah. you know, that it, it means a lot to a lot of people, yeah. you know, the the, the, the die hard fans who you know, if John's going, it's it's a different twist to it, and he still he still knows how to get the bloody car on yeah, the track. Absolutely, absolutely. You know what I mean? He's he's been second a few times this year, and he could have had a win too. They're talking yeah. about the, the amount of people that went to that King's Limb and yeah, came back um, last year. Yeah. Last year, I, mean, I, year. I also I went up to him in the pits and just had a laugh with him, just just to look, John, you remember what you're doing and all that, just yeah. really good. <laughs> and when he went out on track, he said to me, he said it, it got to him because he okay. he didn't real. I don't know if he realised or not, but you know how much how much love there is for him. Okay. You know, and he went on track and got a response yeah, that yeah. he should get. Yeah. And it, it touched him proper because he was like, Jesus Christ, yeah. you know what I mean? But I like that, I do like that because it's, it's respect. It's, yeah, you know, absolutely, it's lovely. I, 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 you know, it's the question is, I'm one hand, you've got John on the dairy farmer, and then you've got John on this 
former stock Rio's mega star that's yeah. kind of held in such high regard and yeah. I always wonder how he feels about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 no, I, I seen him on YouTube actually the other week. I clicked on some and he was on a some game show. Yeah, I remember. Like it. very yeah. years. Yeah, ago. very young looking, isn't he? Very. Yeah. And I, I did. I did watch that. <laughs> like, yeah, it's good. It was good to watch. You know, I mean, for back then, like, yeah. it was in the eighties or something. But yeah, it was good. Brilliant. Brilliant. Um, what was life like growing up in the Wayman household? Uh, just stop cars, stop cars, stop cars. That's all it was. To expect um, um, I spent a lot of my time next door with my grandparents. To be honest, yeah. my dad was in the garage when we used to go out to work. So if I was on holiday or whatever, I'd. If I don't want to stop at my grandma's house, I'd just nip round there and spend a lot of time with grandma, grandma growing up, so it was good round, you know, just what we did. Really. Okay. Favourite subject at school? Favourite subject at school, sorry. Enjoyed maths and physics. I was alright at then. Obviously PE, I was in the school team, football team, and uh, picked to play for Yorkshire. Perhaps I made the wrong choice in life. Really. <laughs> <laughs> it came to a point where do I go to Rochdale and watch my dad or yeah. do I go and play football? Yeah. And I want to go and watch my dad. Yeah, of course. And, you know, I took that path and that's the path I've been on. Do, um, you, look, do you look back and think, actually, I would have liked to go into football or is it. Nah, you, you, you can't. It's always going to be stopped, guys. Yeah. Stop, yeah. You know, yeah, I could have been a wealthy footballer, probably retired now, but, you know, I, would I have had the memories of having stopped, yeah. guys? No. Would I have enjoyed it? Doubt it very much. Yeah. So, you know, it was always going to be stock cars, you know, there wasn't many meetings I missed when I was young. Yeah. You know, even the Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday nights at Skegness, I used to do them, and my mum used to make me get up for school the day after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. <laughs> she did. And, you know, I, yeah, I did attend school at virtually every day when, yeah. when, when I went to Skegness, the only days we went off. So that was quite good, and, you know, qualified all right at some of the levels, and it was good. Brilliant. Um, randomly, you have to fight a line or a shark. Which one do you choose to fight? I don't, have you been fighting one already before we started? Are you in preparation for <laughs> no, this? I'm not sure. No, 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 that was an incident on the forklift on Thursday night. I got okay. stuck on a forklift and the, uh, I got jammed somewhere on the ramp. It hit me. Like, it looked painful. Yeah, it was. It, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't even see it coming. No. Frankie saw it all. Well, he was, he was, when I sort of composed myself, he was that just like, and it, he couldn't sort yeah. of save it. Yeah. Oh, no. he, he was all right that night. He, yeah. The, the, the swelling went down a bit and it was fine. And then I got up the day after and it was like purple. <laughs> oh, that's going to look good. I thought you put some makeup on when he to this interview, I'm, to be fair. I was going to get some for this time. <laughs> Blend it all in. And yeah. nobody would have asked, no, would they? No, they would not have asked. They would have gone thought, no, no, I'll we'll just leave him to it. They may say it's a bit late for Halloween, but. Yeah, you know, it's fine. <laughs> Try the makeup look. So Why not shine? Yeah, Why not shine? One more word answer. Can I fight the shark on land? Or does that have to be more? He, uh, so if it's on land, it's, so you've got it, haven't you? That's it then. Yeah. Well, that's your answer. Yeah, that, that could be good. Having that. Yeah. Um, are you going to survive in the wilderness for a month? No. Do you think? No? How long? Not a prayer. Okay. I'm, I can't cook terribly. I do quite a bit of housework, but cooking is just like that kind of thing. Frankie so can cook. Sam Stone, Frankie can cook, which is quite good. I yeah. quite like that. Um, but no, I, I, I'd be. It's I feel like everything else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If someone's providing food, well, yeah. it's a KFC round corner, absolutely fine. So, See, I asked, I asked Lee this question, and she said that if you were there, she would be all right. So, yeah, everything else would be fine. <laughs> as long as someone provides food. Uh, celebrity crush, do you have one? No. Okay. Um, what's the one thing that you hate that everyone else seems to love? Come back to that. Yeah, come back to that. Come back to that. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Time travel. Talk time. Time travel. Time travel. Forward or back? Back. Okay. And what would you think you'd do with that? If you can imagine knowing what I know now. Yeah. When I started racing. Yeah. It's very good. I like that. You've been talking totally different. Yeah. I like that. Mentally yeah, different. Yeah, yeah, very good. Yeah. Um, what did you? What does your perfect breakfast breakfast look like? Um, I like a good fry up. Chuck breakfast? Yeah, yeah. Do, I don't really have them very often to be honest. We just usually grab a yoghurt or something from toast or something and grab some work. But yeah, if, we, if, if I'm at a hotel or anything, I will go out to it. Anyway, it's, yeah, we'll have a full nice breakfast. Um, do you ever go and do the big shop? Yeah. Yeah. What, what regular day? Yeah. 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 Just, just say like it's like yeah. I mean, yeah. Sam, my wife runs a snack bar, so she's constantly oh, okay. there every day doing stuff and all. We both go and yeah. So 
she rings me up and sends me to get stuff for the snack bar when she's there. So yeah, I'm there all the time, really, trying to keep that going and helping her with that. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, so on the dinner theme, um, if you could choose three people at Dead or Alive to have a dinner party with, who would you choose? Um, probably my grand, my grand, my grand, my grand, my grandparents. Um, possibly Jürgen Klopp. So your grandparents are Jürgen Klopp? Yeah. Oh, I like that. I chat some stuff to them. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Um, your grandparents, what do you kind of talk about? What, what are they thinking about? The yeah, yeah. I, I grew up totally with them. Yeah. You know, they were, they were my idols. And I love a pair of them. You know, I was on the I lost them both. And, but yeah, I spent a lot of time with both, both of them really. Um, you mentioned this already, house or chore, which one do you most enjoy? I do loads, just, just get on with all of them really. Just do you enjoy any of them? No, not really. Okay. No, they just, just got to be done, haven't they? Yeah, they have. It, it might get a bit less when the kids disappear. Yeah, I've got to get rid of them. <laughs> I, don't think you know, I don't think you know. Yeah, yeah. Phoebe and Carla going. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're moving into, okay. a, into a caravan on farm, okay. so they'll be like half the washing of Yes, gone. yeah. Just chasing around after them is a nightmare. <laughs> I'm, I'm quite looking forward to it actually. Right, okay. they actually get into Do they know this? That you're looking yeah. forward to that? Okay, yeah, well, because they're going to get in there and then yeah. I'm going to go around and just keep an eye on what they're actually, because they're going to realise exactly what, what it is to run a house. That's quite funny. Yeah. Um, you've kind of already kind of done this. Um, so, would you ever take part in a reality TV series? Like one that's kind of already out there. So yeah. Like that. Yeah. You, you yeah. Yeah. Which one would you like to do? Of our kids. You know, the one we did, the, the Gears and Tears yeah. show, I mean, when they came up with the idea, they did a, a sort of a quick filming session with us at the end of one season, which was totally fly on the wall. Yeah. And it was so natural because they didn't intrude. And it, it wasn't that bad to do, really, but it, I think a lot of people, it opened a lot of people's eyes. A lot of people don't realise yeah. how much that no, to do to race. Yeah. You know, you, you, it's. 15, 16, 17 hours a day to be at a race and you know that's what I do and it, 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 for people to see that, I mean people in my village when we had the Gears and Tears come out we went to the shop the day after the, after the first one and they're like we didn't realise you did that, yeah. do you know what I mean and yeah, yeah. It, it was, it was, it was yeah. nice to be involved with really I think and obviously the crowd at the, the world final at yeah, Coventry, yeah, it's been months, wasn't that it? just yeah. put the icing on the cake yeah. for everything we all went through, Yeah, you know us, the Smiths, all the fans around Cowley, everybody. Yeah. And it, it just said, yeah, here's what we do do, come and watch us. Does it feel weird that you're facing the DVD? Do you know what uh, I mean? Yeah, <laughs> it does, but obviously we've been filmed for years for yeah. the stock cars. It, the, the, the very first one that went out, we were in the Isle of Man. Right, okay. So we all watched the whole mini lot, watched it together. It was yeah. kind of a bit weird. And it, it was a bit... Jesus yeah, Christ, is this really? But it, it came across all right, I think. Yeah, it, it, really yeah, it was yeah, a good laugh. Yeah, it was, absolutely. and we enjoyed doing it. Who makes you laugh? At racing, usually Paul Lyons. And when did you last cry? Um, probably when I thought about the questions of my grandma and granddad, really. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's, it's, it's I nearly cried the other night when this happened. Yeah, I, I can imagine. I, I, can, I can imagine. I, I went down to the house, I stumbled into the house. And Was Sam sympathetic? She always is, but because she, 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 I, I went in like that and I walked past and she went, What you done? Just hit me head. She went, All right. And I took my hand away and usually she's really good at disguising. Yeah. But she went, Jesus. <laughs> and I was like, God, is it bad? She went, it's massive. Uh, it, the egg was on yeah. there. But yeah, she's good like that. She's the first, she was the first lady in that sense. Um, one more question. What's the best advice you've been given yeah. ever? Never rest a stock car. <laughs> <laughs> Be a millionaire. <laughs> I don't know, really. Um, <laughs> me, me, my grandparents always said to me, just work hard and be right with people, have respect for people. Yeah. And you know, you know that's basically how I go through life. Okay. You know, and people who aren't respectful back don't deserve it. Um, describe yourself in three words and then I'm done. Um, old awesome legend. Okay. I like that. Oh, put, it on your, put it on your car next year. Yeah. Thank you, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Brilliant. Thank you.